Okay, so I will show you how I stiffen my my needle tatting work. I just grab a regular plate from my kitchen, and I apologize if the video is kind of shaky. I do not have a tripod to put it on, so I got a. Uh, actually, my husband got this from from Target, and I just. You know, I think it's okay. I I don't think it was that much. Ex it wasn't that expensive. So what I do is, when I'm done with my uh, needlework, I just spray it. Like, I soak it. Like, I make sure it's, like, really, really wet. Okay? So it's, like, soaked. You can hear. It's, like, really wet. And um, what I do is I start fixing my stitches. It's not all the way wet. Sorry. Okay, so this is going to be kind of hard because I'm holding my camera. Um, I'll just start, you know, turning my stitches and making sure they look the right way and I just leave it on the plate and I let it dry you know most of them do stay like they're supposed to you know what I mean like after you're done with, with your work but if they don't, see like this ring is upside down. So I'm going to push it down. I'm going to fix that. And as you can see, it's almost like an apato. You might not have to do that much, but I like it because it seems like whenever you have your stitches really wet, they tend to be more flexible to turn and to, you know, to make them look the right way. So, I just go all the way around, making sure that my stitches look the right way. No, I like that and okay so just continue doing that and then I will show you how it looks once it dries just make sure you get everything really wet you know okay Okay, so our work is dry and it's stuck to our plate, but it's okay. We're going to start pulling it up. See how flat those stitches look now? Just keep pulling it. And there you go. Now your stitches are flat. Very easy. I hope this video was useful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my video if it was any help to you. Happy tatting. Bye.